Hi everyone and welcome. If this is your first time joining my class, my name is Linda. I hope everybody enjoyed the extra hour of sleep when we turned our clocks back uh, late on Saturday night. Anyways, let's begin with our Shavasana. If you would like to lay down on your backs in corpse pose, and again, any low back issues, make sure you bend the knees, feet flat on the mat, and gently close your eyes. And just be aware of your lower abdominals, gently rising and falling with each breath that you take. Today we're going to do my favorite meditation called the Temple of Peace. Envision yourself going through an ancient garden gate into a courtyard. A garden growing wild with red roses everywhere. Red roses cascading on the fences. Different shades of red. Deep velvet red with a deep fragrance, bright scarlet, crimson red, roses so red they seem to be lighted from within, roses of passion, roses of joy, roses of vitality filling this beautiful courtyard. Inhale their fragrance, enjoy their beauty, see the little pool that reflects great cascade of roses and feel that passionate part of you and feel that part of you as beautiful. Be at peace with that part of you. Could a red rose be anything but God's beauty? Pick the most beautiful rose of all. Hold it to your heart. Place it inside your heart so your passion and your heart one. And see now that a doorway that is covered with red roses is being revealed to you. And as you lift the roses up, it's like a curtain. And you can go through this ancient doorway into another inner courtyard, another garden growing wild. This time it's violet roses. Beautiful roses the color of violet. You've never seen roses quite this color. They have a different fragrance. They are so beautiful. Roses of forgiveness. Roses of transformation. In the center of this courtyard of violet roses is a small shrine. And on the shrine burns a beautiful violet flame, flickering with sacred radiance in this inner sanctuary. Standing in front of the violet flame, you call upon the law of forgiveness and ask that the violet flame sweep through you, healing, cleansing, transmuting all in harmony, all mistaken creation, to perfection and to peace. And now, you take a beautiful violet rose as a symbol of total forgiveness. And looking into its heart, you inhale its fragrance. And you say to yourself, I now forgive myself completely. And I love me just as I am. And place that beautiful rose of forgiveness inside your heart. Now, look for another doorway yet another inner courtyard. This one is locked. It's an ancient lock. And somehow you know that the key is at hand and a special hiding place. And you find the key and you turn it into the ancient lock. And the door swings open into a courtyard of the most beautiful pink roses that you've ever seen. Beautiful pink roses. They are formed like umbrellas, lovely pink roses. 
centered in the courtyard is a beautiful bed made of pink rose petals. Pink rose petals are placed for you to rest. And you find yourself drawn to that beautiful bed of petals, slowly lying down in it. You inhale the fragrance and feel the softness. And as you do so, you realize that you are in the pure rose light of love, and that light surrounds you. It heals your heart of all its aches and pains. And your heart says, I am healed, I am healed, and I am loved. I know that I am loved. The greatest feeling of love that you've ever known leaps through you. You're overwhelmed. Sight and sound melt away. When sight and sound return, you find yourself in another innermost courtyard, this time filled with pure white roses, creamy white roses of purity, perfect peace, divine. And as you walk about this most beautiful of all the courtyards, inhaling the fragrance, enjoying the purity, you realize that you are now at the threshold of the Temple of Peace. Great columns soar to the sky, great pure creamy white columns, great rounded steps lead up to the temple. It's like a pavilion open to the sky. As you walk up to this temple of peace, you can see beautiful cushions of violet silk, pale rose, and pure white are heaped where you know you are to sit. And a beautiful crystal goblet of liquid light is sitting by the cushions, and you know it is for you. And you take a drink, and it fills you with the deepest peace that you have ever known. You feel heightened awareness, vitality, energy, and yet a, a timelessness. And you lean back on the cushion, and you are filled with the deep experience of peace. You know that you're going to be shown scenes as if watching a movie and you'll be taken to the deepest levels of peace you have ever known. As you lie on the cushion, looking out, the first scene begins, and great feathery snowflakes begin to fall. Beautiful feathery snowflakes, floating gently down. A snow, a beautiful, peaceful snow. In the distance, you can see great mountains capped with snow, majestically calm, reflecting the rays of the sun. Snow falls, so gentle, so peaceful. It falls on the pine trees. And as you inhale, it smells like fresh apples, like clean air swept from the mountains. Beautiful, timeless snow. Now, as you watch the snow, it begins to melt, slowly melting. And you see little spirals of blooming are pushing up through the snow. And beautiful small white flowers are unfolding, opening, and now yellow flowers. And the snow continues to melt and pink flowers unfold. The air is fragrant, warm. You can hear a little gurgling brook. It's springtime, and the birds are singing, and the blossoms are bursting. It's spring, the essence of spring, a perfect day, a beautiful spring day. Now, as you watch the leaves begin to change color, they become yellow and orange and red, and the fruit begins to ripen. 
there's a rich golden light over everything. It's a time of harvest. It's a time of reap. It's a bountiful, opulent time. It's autumn. Awesome. And now the first few flakes of snow begin to fall. And you are aware that you are in the temple and you have been shown the cycles of nature, the timelessness of eternity. You're in this place of great peace. And as you look out now, a lovely shore. It's sunset and the water is a liquid gold. There's a beautiful timeless sound. A familiar white robe figure is beckoning you to come, to come and walk with him. A beautiful white robe figure awaits you and you walk towards the figure. You take his hand and you walk one step closer to the to the eternal shore. In the peace that you feel now, in your heart, the timelessness, the cycles of eternity, the master will remain with you. Now it's time to leave that temple and return back to this room. And can you gently wiggle your fingers and your toes? Take a deep yawn or sigh as you stretch your arms over your head. Oh, and gently open your eyes. And can you roll over onto your side? And use your hand to bring yourself up into easy seat. So let's begin by taking our hands and clasping them together and then turning them right inside out. Breath in as you exhale, bring your arms up and drop your shoulders. Breath in, exhale to one side. Breath in, exhale to center. Breath in, exhale. Breath in, exhale back to center, and slowly lean forward. Breath in, exhale, and slowly become neutral. And release your hand. Let's go into Gi and Mutra. Let's begin our head, neck, shoulder warm ups, gently rotating our head from side to side. When you get to center, can you tuck your chin in? Breath in, exhale, chin to collarbone, relax the shoulders, navel to spine. Let's go into the pendulum, outline the collarbone with your chin. And 
we'll get the center gently coming up. Place one hand at the crown of the head, the other at the side. Breath in and out. Feel that gentle stretch. And gently coming up, let's change that. Breath in and Slowly coming up, armpit sniff, rotating our head, breath in, exhale. Gently coming up, opposite side, breath in, exhale. And gently coming up. Place our hands in front, round as if we're holding a huge beach ball. So let's inhale, open the heart center, exhale, round the back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. inhale. Bring your right arm up, drop it behind, reach around your back and see if the fingertips will touch going into cow pose for our arms. And gently release. Opposite arm comes up, take it behind, the other one wraps around the waist. Coming up the spine. You can also use a belt here if you have difficulty touching fingers. And gently release. So we're going to bring our arms up, both palms are down. We're going to exhale, 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 exhale. You can do maybe 10 rounds of this. So exhale, 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 exhale. In the shoulders. Okay, bringing our legs in front, sitting in Dandasana. Ankle circles, lift your feet up gently. Turning our ankles. And reverse. And shake it up. Placing one leg in, take the other one out to the side. Your arm goes down, palm is down. Breath in as you exhale to the sky and then stretch. Looking at the palm or straight. Open up the heart center. Breath in, exhale, and gently coming up. Let's change sides. Arm up to the sky, breath in and exhale. Breath in, exhale, and gently coming up and coming down. 
bringing our feet in, balancing on the sitting bones. We're going to work our hamstrings. Breath in as you exhale, right leg up, flex the foot. Breath in, exhale, let's bring the other leg up. Relax your shoulders. And gently bend and come up. So let's go down on our backs. Let's do the count of 18. Relax your shoulders. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Good. Bring your feet in a little bit closer. Sacral rock one, gently moving the knees from side to side, warming up our low back. Back to center, right leg up to the sky, point and flex. Point, flex. Point, flex. Point, flex. Point. Flex, rotate your leg, place the foot on the thigh. Breath in as you exhale, opening up the hip, and then close. Nice, gentle breathing. Exhale, finish. Working our hip joint, keeping it flexible and healthy. Keep the leg open, take the right arm through the center, reach behind the thigh, head, neck, shoulders off the mat, and let's flex both feet. Breath in, exhale, gently release, and let's undo. Opposite side, take the leg up, point and flex, point and flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, rotate the leg, place the foot on the thigh, breath in, exhale as you open, inhale towards your nice slow movements, again working that hip joint, warming it up. Very important to do our warm ups before our asanas. Keep the leg open, take the left arm through, reach around, and take the shoulders off the mat. Flex both feet. Breath in, exhale, and gently undo. Going into a little boat. And keep one side to the chest. Breath in, exhale, extend, and lengthen. Flex the foot, lengthening our hip joint. Breath in, exhale, coming back. Let's change sides. Breath in, X. Lengthen that hip joint. Flex both feet. Really good for our low backs. Breath in, exhale, and coming back. Gentle circles in one direction and reverse. Good. 
and place the feet flat on the mat. Let's bring the soles of the feet together in Baddha Konasana. Bring the arms up to the sky. Drop them in the sockets, fingertips at the elbow. We're going to work on our rotator cuff. Breath in, exhale to one side, back to center, and then the other. So it's a gentle flow from side to side. Warming that upper back. Press the soles of the feet together. Breath in as you exhale, bring them up nice and slow. Soles facing the sky. Feet together and coming down nice and slow. And relax. Press the feet together. Breath in, exhale. Let it Feet, place them together, breath in, exhale, slowly. And let's go into a quick butterfly. And feet flat on the mat, we're going to go into our bridge pose. So breath in as you exhale, bring your pelvis up, up, tuck in your right shoulder blade, the left, bring the hands together if you can. Tighten your abs and your glutes. Nice gentle breathing. Breath in, exhale, slowly coming down, one vertebrae up. Counter pose, little boat, bring the knees to the chest. And feet flat again on the mat, arms up, drop them in the sockets and take them behind. The palms are facing the sky. Bring your feet in a little bit. Breath in as you exhale. We're going into bridge again. Coming up, 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 right into the shoulder blade. Then you go on the ball of your right foot, then your left, and let's lift that pelvis up. Tighten the abs and glutes. And lower your right heel, lower the left, coming down slowly, one vertebrae. And back to little boat. Let's place our arms in a T, palms up, preparing for a spinal twist. Breath in as you exhale, take the legs to the left, bring your head to the right. Take the upper lower leg, extend, flex the foot, and see if you can reach for your toe. And then gently turn your head. Release the toe, bend the lower leg. Breath in, exhale back to center, opposite side, breath in, 
X. Take the upper lower leg, extend, flex your foot, reach for your toes. Keep the leg lined up with your hip, a nice straight line. And release the toes, bend at the knee, breath in, exhale. Coming back, let's do little circles again. And reverse. And I'd like you to roll over on your side and slowly coming up. Now I'd like you to take your mat to the wall. We're going to do legs up the wall. So my knees, second, I'm gonna see me a little bit better. Okay. So my knees are facing towards the center of the room. And my back is towards the wall. I have a pillar here. What I'd like you to do is roll over. So my buttocks are right up by the wall. Of course, you'll have a complete wall here. So your hip width apart, the legs are sitting comfortably in their sockets. This is really good for any low back issues. From here, I'd like to go into a modified bridge. So you're going to bring your feet flat on the wall. You're going to put your hands with the thumbs in front, and they're going to go on your waist as you bring yourself up. So breath in as I exhale. I'm coming up. I'm going to go to the next pillar. My thumbs are in front, and I'm pushing my pelvis forward. Do not turn your head, it's very important. So we are in modified bridge. And now I'd like you to take your right leg up to the sky. And then your other leg. So we are now in shoulder stand. If there are any issues and you need to go back to the wall, it's there. So you're bringing one up at a time, bringing the second. Keeping your head, chin towards the collarbone. Breath in as you exhale, slowly bring your right leg down. The other one stays lined up. You might only get to this level, that's fine. Go wherever it's comfortable for you. Coming up a little bit more in my shoulders. Why we did a lot of warm ups in the upper body today. Breath in, exhale. Nicely controlled, use that core. Coming up. We are back in shoulder step. Check your alignment. Opposite leg. Breath in, exhale. Breath in, exhale. 
slowly coming up. From here, we're going to go into plow. Breath in, exhale. Navel to spine, use your core. Now you can release your hands if you like, or keep them here, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm bringing my hands back to my waist, breath in, exhale, coming up. And then take one leg back to the wall, take the other one back, and we're going to walk down. And little boat. You can just gently turn your head from side to side, a little stretch on your neck. We'll place our feet flat on the mat again, climbing on the wall. Coming up into modified bridge, then I need to make an adjustment. And you're coming up into shoulder stand. Stay as long as it's comfortable. If you need to come out, feel free to do that. Breath in, exhale, right leg, slowly coming down. That's my right leg. First leg. Breath in, exhale, use that core, slowly coming up. Opposite leg, breath in, Breath in, exhale, slowly coming up. Good, let's go into plow. Breath in, exhale. Nice and controlled. Bring your hands back to your waist, navel to spine. Breath in, exhale. Coming up. Now, if you don't want to go by the wall, you can slowly bend the legs, coming down, nice and slow. Or you can walk your feet down the wall, whatever is comfortable for you. Let's put our legs up the wall again. Arms out and just rest. And slowly bringing yourself back to little boat. Pull over 
to one side and slowly coming up. Okay. So next I would like to do alternate nostril breathing or Veloma breathing. I always like to do that after I've gone into shoulder stand. Uh, the benefits are it cleansing, it's a cleansing of your nostrils. It restores balance in the left and right hemispheres of your brain. It alleviates migraines and headaches. It purifies the nervous channels, giving clarity and concentration. And it supports our lungs and respiratory functions. The contraindications are high blood pressure or having a pacemaker because of the holding of the breath or heart disease. And it's not to be done on a very thin stomach. So I like to do it um, against a wall. And I rest one arm on my leg. And I put the two fingers here, go at my third eye. So what, and then you're gonna use your thumb and your other two fingers for opening and closing. So you're going to inhale gently through one nostril as far as it's comfortable. Hold pause, and then you're going to exhale. And we're going to alternate inhaling and exhaling. Now, if any time you feel dizzy or lightheaded, please stop doing this and just sit in easy pose, okay? Closer to you. So my two fingers are on my third eye. I'm going to close my left nostril. I close my eyes also so I can kind of concentrate on my breathing. I'm going to inhale on my right. Close the right nostril, open the left, and exhale. Inhale left. Close. Open right, exhale. Inhale right. Close. Open left, exhale. Inhale left. Close. Open the right, exhale. Inhale, right. Close. Open left, exhale. Inhale, left. Open right, exhale. Inhale right. Close. Open left, exhale. Inhale left. Open right and breathe normally. Keep your eyes closed. And gently open your eyes. Good, I hope everybody's feeling okay. You can also do this um, before you do a meditation. It'll help relax you too, okay? So, Let's go back to our mats. This. And let's go into table. And we're going to bring the right arm up to the sky. Take two breaths. Exhale and feed it. Inhale up to the sky. 
exhale, and under, and up to the sky. Exhale, and go right in to thread the needle. So both arms are on the mat, my head is turned. Breath in, exhale, coming back up to table. Opposite arm. And slowly going in. Inhale, deep breath. And going into thread the needle. And then slowly coming back into table. Let's curl our toes under. I'm going to turn. And let's go into dog pose. Breath in, exhale, coming up. Let's take dog for a walk, dropping your heels. Lifting both heels and gently coming down, sitting bones up to the sky. Soften the knees and walk a little bit forward. Walk the head back. Nice breath in. Coming up. Now the same. Coming up. Good. If I need to adjust the screen again. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So let's go into our um Warrior two, starting in Tadasana, taking our right leg, stepping forward, checking your alignment, looking over your shoulder, get strong and powerful. The warriors build your self esteem and help with confidence, they help ground you. Breath in as you exhale, straighten the leg. We're going into triangle and reach. Let's go down. Breath in, exhale, coming up and revolve. Little finger the side of the little toe. Breath in, exhale, coming up and revolve back to warrior two. And let's go into extended. Breath in, exhale, lower the upper arm, going into reverse warrior. Breath in, exhale, coming back to warrior two, and down, and let's change sides.
starting in Tadasana, opposite leg, step forward. This way now. Breath in, exhale, straighten the leg and reach. Let's go down. Make a triangle. Breath in, exhale, coming up and revolve. Breath in, exhale, coming up. Back to our warrior two. And let's go into extended angle. Breath in, exhale, lower the upper arm, reverse warrior. And reach for the earth and for the sky. Breath in, exhale. Let's go again. And breath in, exhale. Gently coming down. Back to Vasana. So let's do a sun salutation. Coming up to the front of our mats. Hands in Namaste. Hands go down. Welcome the sun. Slight back bend. Uttanasana, standing forward leg. Right leg back, left leg back, dog pose. Child. Drag your nose along the mat, pushing up the head up dog, and go right into dog pose. Right leg up to the sky. Huge step forward. The other leg. Flat back, coming down, nice breath in, welcome the sun, namaste, heart center, hands go down, welcome the sun, right back, Uttanasana, standing forward, left leg back, right leg back, dog pose, child, Coming up into your head up dog. Dog. Take the leg up to the sky. Step it forward. Halfway lift. Down. Nice breath in. Let's go into Malasana squat. So let's go wide first, bringing the arms up to shoulder height, breath in, exhale, let's go sit, as far as is comfortable, yes. Breath in, exhale, gentle sway from side to side. Nice pull down. Okay, so let's prepare for Shavasana again. So 
So take your time, go down onto your backs on your mat. So any low back issues again, bend the knees, feet are flat, arms are out, or you can extend. Gently close your eyes. And just sink into the earth, feeling grounded and safe. And focus on the breath. There's nothing to do. Just rest and relax. Now it's time to return back to this room. And can you gently wiggle your fingers and your toes? Take a deep yawn or sigh as you stretch your arms over your head. Oh. And gently open your eyes. And can you slowly roll over onto your side? And rest your head on your upper on your upper arm. And take a breath or two. And then slowly come up into easy breath. And let's place our hands on our heart and gently close our eyes. And think of something wonderful and exciting you'd like to bring into your life this week. Something that puts a smile on your face and brings love, joy, and laughter into your heart. Let's place our hands in prayer, gently bow our heads, 
And can we say all together, namaste. And gently open your eyes. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the class. And I'm looking